Converting general form to vertex form and vice versa. Let's start first with converting general form to vertex form. Quadratic function in general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c can be written in a vertex form or standard form. The standard form, or sometimes called the vertex form of the quadratic function, is y equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus k or f of x equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus k. The graph of the function is a parabola whose vertex lies on hk, wherein the values of h and k are in the form of h equals negative b over 2a and k equals 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Example A. Write each quadratic function in vertex form and identify the value of h and k. Example number 1. y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. First, determine the values of a, b, and c. a is 1, b is 2, c is 1. Next, find the value of the vertex hk using their formula by substituting the values of a, b, and c. So you will have there h equals negative b over 2a. Then substitute the values of your b and a, that would be negative 2 over 2 times 1. Negative of 2 is negative 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And then, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So your h is negative 1. Next, k. k equals 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Substitute the values of a, b, and c. So you will have there 4 times 1 times 1 minus 2 square over 4 times 1. Next, as we simplify 4 times 1 times 1, that is 4. And 2 squared is 4. And 4 times 1 is also 4. Simplifying 4 minus 4 over 4, that would be 0 over 4. And 0 divided by 4 is 0. Next, write the vertex form. y equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus k. Next, substitute the values of the vertex h and k and the values of a. That would be y equals 1 times quantity x minus negative 1 squared plus zero. Simplifying this, you will have y equals quantity x plus one squared. Example number two, y equals three x squared minus 12 x plus 21. First, determine the values of a, b, and c. a is three, b is negative 12, C is 21. Next, find the value of the vertex HK using their formula by substituting the values of A, B, and C. So let's start with H. H equals negative B over 2A. Negative of negative, B is negative 12, A is 3. So that would be negative times negative 12 over 2 times 3. Negative of negative 12 is a positive 12, and 2 times 3 is 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So h is 2. Next, k. k equals 4ac minus b squared over 4a. a is 3, c is 21, b is negative 12. So that would be 4 times 3 times 21 times negative 12 squared over 4 times 3. 
4 times 3 times 21 is 252. Negative 12 squared is 144. And 4 times 3 is 12. Next, 252 minus 144 is 108. And 108 divided by 12 is 9. So the value of K is 9. Next, write the vertex form. Y equals A times quantity X minus H squared plus K. Next, substitute the values of the vertex HK and A. Again, H is 2, K is 9, A is 3. So that would be Y equals 3 times quantity X minus 2 squared plus 9. Simplify, that would be y equals 3 times quantity x minus 2 squared plus 9. And that would be your vertex form. Number 3, f of x equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 25. First, determine the value of a, b, and c. a is negative 1, b is negative 2, c is 25. Next, Find the values of the vertex HK using their formula by substituting the values of A, B, and C. So you will have their H equals negative B over 2A. And as we substitute, that would be negative times negative 2 over 2 times negative 1. Negative times negative 2, that's 2. And then 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. 2 divided by negative 2, that is negative 1. So H is negative 1. Next for k. k equals 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Substitute the values of a, b, and c. We arrive with 4 times negative 1 times 25 minus negative 2 squared over 4 times negative 1. 4 times negative 1 times 25, that's negative 100. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4. So we will have negative 100 minus 4 over negative 4. Negative 100 minus 4 is negative 104. Then, negative 104 divided by negative 4, that's 26. So the value of k is 26. Next, write the vertex form. Substitute the values of your vertex HK and also for the values of A. And value of A. F of X equals the 1 times quantity X minus negative 1 squared plus 26. Simplifying this, you arrive with F of X equals negative times X plus 1 squared plus 26. Next, converting vertex form to general form. From the standard or vertex form, you can convert it back to its general form by simplifying the standard form. Again, convert the vertex form to general form by simplifying the standard form. So again, the general form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c or you could say it's f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Example B. Write each vertex form of the quadratic function into its general form. Number 1. y equals x minus 3 squared. Simplify by applying the square of binomials quantity a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So you will have there y equals quantity x minus 3 squared. When you simplify that one, you will arrive with x squared minus 6x plus 9. So the general form of the quadratic function is y equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. Number 2. y equals quantity x plus 1 squared minus 5. Simplify by applying the square of binomial. So you will have there y equals 
quantity x plus 1 squared minus 5. And if you simplify the square of a binomial, you will arrive with y equals x squared plus 2x, 2x plus 1 minus 5. And then simplify the combining like terms, you will arrive with y equals x squared plus 2x minus 4. Minus 4 because 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So the general form of the quadratic function is y equals x squared plus 2x minus 4. Number 3. f of x equals negative 2 times quantity x plus 2 squared plus 7. Simplifying by applying quantity a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So with that, you will arrive with x squared plus 4x plus 4 because you apply the square of binomials. Next, using distributive property, you will distribute the negative toward the value of your a to what's inside the parentheses. So as you distribute, you arrive with f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 8 plus 7. Next, simplify the combining like terms. We can combine negative 8 with 7. So the final answer will be f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 1. Example C. Given the vertex hk and the value of a of a quadratic function, convert it into general form. Number 1. The vertex is 1, 2, and the value of a is 1. Use the vertex form first in converting it to general form. y equals a times quantity x minus h squared plus k. Substitute the values of your h, k, and a. So you will have there y equals 1 times quantity x minus 1 squared plus 2. Simplify by applying square of binomials. y equals 1 times quantity x minus 1 squared plus 2 x minus 1 squared, that is x squared minus 2x plus 1. Next, applying distributive property, distribute 1 to what's inside the parentheses. So that would be y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 2. Next, simplify by combining like terms. We can combine 1 and 2, so you are with 3. So the final answer will be y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. And that would be your general form. Number 2. Vertex is 2, negative 5, and a is negative 2. Use the vertex form first in converting it into general form. So y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Substitute the values of h, k, and a. So you will have there y equals negative 2 times quantity x minus 2 squared plus negative 5. Simplify first by applying the square of binomial. So you will have there x minus 2 squared and x minus 2 squared is x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then 1 times negative then a positive times a negative 5 is a, is a negative 5. So you have there minus 5. Next, distribute the value of your a into what's inside the parentheses. So as you distribute, you arrive with y equals negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 8 minus 5. Next, simplify by combining like terms. So the like terms here are the constant term, negative 8 and negative 5. Negative 8 and negative 5, that would be negative 13. So the general form will be y equals negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 13. Number 3. Vertex negative 1, negative 3, and a equals negative 1. Use the vertex form first. 
Next, substitute the values of h, k, and a to have their y equals negative 1 times quantity x minus negative 1 squared plus negative 3. Simplify by applying square of binomials, but before that, as you can see, negative of negative 1 is a positive 1, and positive of negative 3 is a negative 3, as you simplify the given. Next, so let's apply now the square of binomials. x plus 1 squared, that's x squared plus 2x plus 1. Using distributive property, you distribute the value of a, which is negative 1, you will arrive with y equals negative x squared minus 2x minus 1 minus 3. Then sim simplifying, then simplify by combining like terms, negative 1 and negative 3, that would be negative 4. So the general form will be y equals negative x squared minus 2x minus 4.